I only have one thing left to show you. I didn't include Sister Death in the voting because I couldn't have beaten her in the state that I was in. And I wanted this LP to be a showing not of someone's first playthrough, but of someone's second or third. Even knowing as much as a person in my position, plenty of mistakes can arise. And even though I did one or two things for drama, and I didn't save as often as someone playing this really should, there were just as many unplanned blunders and oversights. Just before I do this, I'm again going to point out that I have about 3,000 droplets on me. That's enough to bring any sister almost up to her fourth heart. Discounting the fact that you can only feed her two colours. And it's pretty much all the colour that you could get out of the multiple blossomings of the largest gardens. The tree itself can have the breakthrough glyph used on it. The breakthrough glyph is the rite of devotio, giving all of yourself, regardless of which context it occurs. There she is, good as new. No hearts opened, no words for us. We're still alive, as you can see, but this is what we've been left with. 50 silver in our main heart. 50 silver in our nerva. This is also what happens if we lose one of the fights that we instigate, i.e. not one of the executions. I'm quite surprised that I haven't shown that off already. At that point, it's not worth continuing with your game. No matter how far back your save is, you should reload. In order to continue at this stage, you'd need to have planned quite well in advance. We don't need to have any Lympha during Breakthrough, but it gets used up anyway. So you should convert and plant all that you have to build up your stocks. You should actually have several fully blossomed gardens going. And if you play this game really well, you can achieve that. You'll need to protect them more often, but it's not too hard to do. The Scorpio appeared in my chambers. He's trying to kill your garden. That's all she has to say upon being revived. Well, we'd all be pretty disorientated and detached after being dead for several hours. What's fairly bemusing is that when you open her first and her second heart again, she has exactly the same thing to say as she said right at the beginning of the game. She talks about how there are only nine sisters left, and she talks about how you now look and act like a brother. I don't know whether it was an oversight, whether it was left in intentionally to freak you out slightly, Maybe since you'll have to have completed the game at least once to get to this stage. Maybe it's another subtle message that you are the player, you finish the game, you should be doing something, why are you still playing? Opening her third heart causes all her bonds to disappear prematurely. You ascend through the Aidit, maybe the bottom of the void is closest to the next limit, and Sister Death was always the most powerful sister, which makes sense since she had the ability to save us and give away her colour. My love, what would it help? I don't need anything from you. Don't worry about me. See, I'm together with the tree that grows above, and as long as it's alive, I'll be fine. She never saves a thought for herself, not even when it's clear that this is what we want the most. Which may not be the best trait for the new world objectively, but since she's been doing this for our benefit, it makes us really care about her. I'm extremely curious to know what would have happened if, during the voting, I'd stipulated that you had to say whether you would have voted for Sister Death if she were an option. Many people said this anyway, but as it is, I'd rather not know the full result. It could be a bizarre tangling of guilt, second-guessing and what-ifs, so I'd prefer to have her retain that sense of mystery that goes along with why she has the motivation she does. Thank you. With each drop, I feel like my will to live is returning. Yet this still isn't enough for a breakthrough. She's silent, like you. 
She's concentrating, that's why. Don't worry. She'll have a lot to say up there on the surface. She's ready to give birth to the new life. But you're not... We've heard it all before, and I'd rather not turn this into what we would have done if we'd had the chance. I couldn't be happier with the choice that we made, since there isn't a correct one. After reaching the state of Turgor, once again, I'm ready to ascend this sister. She now actually wants to live, so I'm sure it was worth undoing her acts of selflessness. A fact that some people took issue with in this choice. I don't know whether it's significant that the sisters don't fly into the light when we do. Maybe we take some sort of central position and the sisters are all around. Perhaps to indicate that the creative effort ends up being quite similar. I can't go into any actual detail here. For the last time I mentioned the original Russian version, in which, as well as ascending your chosen sister, you could ascend yourself along with her. Maybe this cheapens it, maybe it's nice to end on a positive note, I think we've pretty much done so here, which is a bit of a letdown. I like to see how deep the gloom can get. Sister Death's gold and green colours look kind of dim when mixed together, so there's still hope yet. We never heard again once we departed. The sinner's prayers sound in discord. An earthly god's communion is reward from priests and temples never started. The dreams of madness change our saviour. We are as bees abandoned by the hive. Like the men of fallen Troy, we now strive, and flames predict the time of our failure. By breathing gusts, we're led in dissolution, long paths unfolding, roads we've never walked. We stroll in blindness as a herdless flock, rolling thunder, earth, and lightning fusion. Exploding fires of doubt and disdain, our dreams meaning the world will never gain. It's been an absolute joy. Thank you so much for watching. Whilst I'm sad that the LP has come to an end, especially so since I have no further plans in mind, I'm very glad at the conclusion we reached, and it can now be self-contained with no requirement or desire for perpetuation. Ice Pick Lodge deserves all the praise in the world. Both of their games have been evocative masterpieces and unique experiences, and their third game, coming out later this year, promises to be just as powerful. It is called Cargo, and rather than the horror or the psychological torment of their past works, it is a game centred around the concept of fun. Humour shares many characteristics with fear and is just as rife with possibility. If you've liked what you've seen here but want a game that's more accessible and perhaps more positive, although I can't promise the actual game won't be ingeniously horrifying, then get cargo and think while you play. Until then, take care. In fact, why don't you get off the computer and go do something you've always wanted to do but never quite got around to. I won't be around to stop you anymore.